A young whale caught up in fishing gear for several days has finally been freed. The mammal, likely part of an endangered population, had been dragging the netting since last week, and it was a race against time to save it. Tonight, we're hearing from one of the rescuers about the challenging ordeal. Angela Jung has more. For five days, this gray whale had been dragging some gill netting, more than twice its length. Eventually, the animal would have likely died from this entanglement. That's why the DFO's Marine Mammal Rescue Unit worked quickly to try and save it. The whale was caught up in some salmon fishery netting near Nukasan last Tuesday. Two days later, people reported seeing it further north, allowing the team to find it quickly. And at that time, we were able to, to work with the animal and remove uh, quite a bit of the corks and meshes and lines, but we ran out of daylight on July 29th. They put a tracker on the remaining debris and were able to find the whale again Saturday near Brooks Peninsula. Using a drone, they strategized how to cut the gear and see how the animal was doing. It's made these rescues and these disentanglements a lot safer. After four hours, it eventually breaks free. There's a sense of relief to see the whale freed. And unfortunately, more often than not, these whales don't get saved. And getting entangled in this sort of gear is really the kiss of death for the animal. This rescue may be even more significant because it's possible this young gray whale belongs to an endangered subset. For this time of the year, July, August, to have a whale off the coast of BC, a gray whale, suggests it might be part of this endangered feeding group. Uh, in which case, saving it is extremely important to help support the population. The DFO will continue to monitor it, and based on how quickly the young whale swam off, it's believed it will be okay. Angela Jung, CTV News, Vancouver.